Thanks. So, uh, look, different presentations of what you've probably seen today. We're a technology business uh, moving down the, the battery supply chain away from away from the miners. So as a, as a diversified business, uh, I'll take you through a few of our opportunities that we're pursuing at the moment. But, but to give you an overview of what the company does, the, the five pillars we have at the moment, very much ESG focused. We um, yeah, we're stopping batteries going into the ground. We're improving the recovery of chemicals from from mining operations, and we're we're producing cathode powders in a in a more sustainable way than, than the market currently has. We've got a team of um, highly qualified professionals, lots of scientists uh, within the business, developed some very very uh, impressive technologies over over the last ten years. Um, and the market's moving. I mean, you'll hear it time and time again, driven by the electric vehicles. Um, you know, the, the outlook is very positive and we, we sit at the forefront of those technologies as, as, the, as the markets grow. We've got a lot of patents uh, for our processes to protect ourselves in the future. In Australia, when the company's lithium Australia, but, but we've got global, global protection um, now for, for most of our technologies. And we're, our team is uh, you know, ready to, to take the business forward. We've got a really good team of, uh, of professionals. Just to take you through the, the probably the largest opportunity from a commercial perspective, um, we have a wholly owned subsidiary that will produce lithium ferrophosphate, one of the cathode materials. Um, and you know, the reason we've chosen LFP uh, or lithium ferrophosphate is really two things. It's uh, yeah, it's cheaper to produce and it's more sustainable than the other chemistries. Um, yeah, there's no cobalt content in an LFP battery. Um, there's no thermal runaway. So safety and, uh, and uh, sustainability are very strong. Um, when you look at the cost of materials and the production, it, it's, it's cheaper than the other chemistries. In terms of the technicals, it is better from a discharge rate. So that's how fast your battery um, will discharge when you put your foot on your accelerator. Um, it will improve the, the cycle life. This is the amount of time you can charge a battery. So it means the battery will last a longer amount of time. Uh, energy density is, is something that the LFP industry is starting to, to plug with, um, with how the, the cells are, are produced. Um, so effectively what you see on that graph there um, on, the, um, on the energy density, it seems to be a bit of a delta, but it's not, not so much of an issue uh, with the technology development. In terms of the market, uh, you know, tenfold growth in LFP production over the next 10 years. For us, we're looking to get a very small part of that pie. Uh, as you can see, the, the battery icons are where we're looking to put either a pre-qualification or, or a production facility down. Um, you know, starting off quite, quite reasonable or modest with a 10,000 tonne per annum production facility. That would be the largest production facility outside of China which currently produces 99% of all LFP cathode powders currently. Um, and the reason we want to be outside of China is you know, premiums you'll get for LFP uh, uh, produced outside of China. There's a lot of money around for Western uh, jurisdictions to, to help develop. Um, and you know, for us, we want to disrupt the supply chain. When you look on the right-hand side there, we've got 80 kilotons of, of LFP production. That's about 3% of the global expected production of LFP. So we're not gonna be in there uh, disrupting the, the supply demand uh, dynamics. Very quickly on our, on our pilot plant, I mean, now we've got a simplified process which produces LFP at a lower cost relative to others. We get a consistent product and our ESG from fundamentals stack up very favorably to, to other chemistries. Um, another opportunity for us, so that's an LFP opportunity, massive, uh, opportunity for us to put a, a footprint in, in that market. But we've also got an end of life solution. Um, currently have a, an operating plant in, in Melbourne, in Victoria. Um, it will re um, recycle any type of battery. Uh, so the only licensed mixed battery uh, recycler in, in the country. Uh, we've got a little video just to show you what the, what the business is all about. Batteries have gifted us a world of devices providing portable power for tools and toys, phones, tablets and laptops, electric vehicles large and small, and even energy storage for homes and industry. But where do those batteries go when they die? Sadly, most end up in landfill. In Australia, for instance, 97% of spent batteries are left to split, rot and pollute our land and waterways. 
environmentally they're a nightmare. Now though, there's a solution, and one company, EnviroStream, Australia's only mixed battery recycler, is leading the way. EnviroStream can recover and reuse nearly all of every battery it collects, separating out not just the plastics, steel, copper and aluminium, but also, importantly, the energy metals that many contain. EnviroStream specialises in the recycling of lithium-ion batteries, the ones that power all those phones, laptops, tools and electric vehicles, and leads the way in its ability to recover the active components within. That includes lithium, nickel, cobalt and manganese, all of which go towards making new batteries. Ultimately, EnviroStream's recycling technology will not only reduce mankind's global carbon footprint, but also mitigate environmental damage on many fronts. Recovering and reusing energy metals from batteries can reduce exploration and mining for new materials, protecting fragile ecosystems. Also, battery recycling helps bypass the sourcing of conflict metals from regions in which illegal mining and abuse of human rights are rife. Already, EnviroStream recycles over 600 tonnes of batteries a year, and while there's a long way to go, they're right at the forefront, making a difference, working for a cleaner, greener future. So you ask yourself, why have I put an Australian operation down? And I think for all of our technologies, we're not limited by jurisdiction, so, you know, the end of life solution is, is definitely going to be the future of the battery industry. We've got to get access to uh, to materials in a sustainable way, and we could be anywhere in the world. So what we're doing at the moment is securing our, our blueprint for that, that business, and then we'll take it internationally. So just to close out on the, the investment decision, I think you know, our, our ESG fundamentals are, are proven. I mean, there's, there's, there's not many companies out there that can stop uh, the, the, the negative chemicals of end-of-life batteries going into, into landfill and, uh, and the waterways. Uh, we've got the next generation of technologies uh, downstream. The market's going very, very fast and will continue to do so over the next decade and beyond. Uh, we've got the protection of our, our IP behind us and we've got a team that's ready to, ready to move forward and, and a team you can trust. Thank you.